Hey guys, hi, how are you all doing? Hope everything is going well and uh, welcome to today's uh, top 5 falls to trade. Okay, so yesterday video that we made made a lot of uh, profits. So I hope uh, you followed with us and uh, secured some profits out of this. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start with our BTC uh, analysis like we always do. Okay, so uh, just to start uh, the disclaimer part of it. Yeah, so the uh, disclaimer for BTC uh, for this video remains the same that these are very high risk trades, highly volatile. So uh, do do your own research before trading them. Okay, plan your stop loss and entry, uh, stop loss and take profit before entry. And once you have some profits, take uh, twenty percent profit and put uh, stop loss to entry. Okay, the minimum risk to reward to target is one is to two. Yeah, let's uh, go down to lower time frame analysis and see how. BTC did. Let me just uh, close the disclaimer. Yeah. So, like you can see that yesterday we were predicting that uh, BTC will come here to this uh, middle of the parallel channel. As you can see, that BTC uh, got some reaction from that parallel channel from the point uh, that we drew here. Okay. Anyway, all this does not matter now because we have new data points. So, we'll plan it again but uh, I took a scalp long here but I did not give you this setup because uh, this was a very risky setup and uh, if you do not know how to take profits then this setup was uh, not for you okay but I took it on the basis of this uh, that uh, thinking that if you remember I told you it might go and test this top okay but you can see this to this whole channel it it was planning to go and test so I took some profits here but I did not take all my profits and later i got uh, stopped out at uh, my entry okay so i secured around 50 percent profit in this one and then i got out of the trade since then i have not been long because uh, this one we can see we got a lot of bearish divergence over here so i i wanted to give this shot but it was too late in the night uh, you can see it was uh, somewhere early morning five o'clock in the morning when i woke up i saw this uh, shot but you know it uh, giving you these shots at <laughs> this point of time is not uh, yeah. Anyway, so let's uh, start with the analysis today. As you can see, let's try to figure out what uh, BTC is going to do. Uh, now, if you see that we have just broken this parallel channel over here. Now, don't expect that BTC will come here directly to the bottom of uh, this channel. You can see that from 0.5 and from 0 0.382, there is a lot of support. Now, if you go to higher time frames and uh, try to mark some supports, you can see that BTC has some good amount of support over here. So this will be our first support line and this will be our second support line. Okay. As you can see that uh, this was the whole zone which BTC was trading in before. Okay. If you want me to mark then this will be the whole zone. And since then it broke out to the top. Okay. So now it uh, is coming back to test this zone. So first testing point will be here. Okay, so this will be my first long point over here. What I'll try to do is I'll try to take this entry and then I'll see over here uh, near the parallel channel that how it is reacting. Are there some bearish divergences or not? Okay, if it clears this parallel channel, then we can target uh, the point 382 of the wave like we always do. You can see that. Let me just delete this. I'll target this region over here. Okay, so if it goes here and test then i'll look for it to come down and test some lower parts over here okay so this is how our abc is going to go so this will be the a this will be the b and this will be the c okay so that time this parallel channel would have come up so somewhere over here land to so this will be the bigger abc pattern which i'll be uh, looking to trade over the week okay now uh, so this is for BTC. I don't see any other pattern. Other pattern other than this will be a uh, 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 test of last highs altogether. So if it comes down over here, either it can pick up from here or it can go down, find some support in this line and then go up. Okay. Either way, we don't know what is going to happen, but you are going to take. But if it goes up and test this swing failure, then of course it is going to go to put in some higher highs over here and then come down okay but i don't see that this scenario will work out quite likely not because we are in the 
middle of the week already. So let's see how it goes. Yeah, but the first uh, long setup that I told you will be the most uh, beneficial to take. Okay, which is uh, from this uh, support area over here. Yeah, so we'll see how it works out. And then we'll see on this parallel channel how it behaves. Yeah, and then finally probably it will go and tap our zone over here. Now this is the BTC uh, analysis. Now why I am gaining little bit bearish is because uh, let me just uh, <clears throat> explain you quickly. You can see that these are the weekly candles which are forming. And if you go to the monthly candles, yeah, you can see that uh, the month has just finished. And uh, you can see 29 days to go for the uh, next monthly candle. So that is why I think that once the month finishes, it goes to test uh, uh, new uh, the last month's uh, middle. Okay, so this is the last week's candle. So I think that this will probably go down somewhere here to this region to 1896 before it uh, goes up. That is why I'm leaning a little bit uh, bearish for. Uh, BTC. Okay, so I think uh, BTC analysis is quite clear for you guys. And uh, yeah, just trade on this pattern. Now, if you this is the local POC, the major impulse wave POC. Now, if you want to see some local POCs over here, then you can see that. Let me just uh, zoom it for you. You can see that uh, POC is somewhere over here in our golden pocket. So it might go up and test the POC. So this scenario is uh, highly likely. Now, if you want to the e trade POC then this one is over here yeah and uh, the whole way over here uh, comes over here okay so we are now approaching POC so I think around the POC it will try to find some support and go up okay so this is the BTC analysis for you guys uh, let me just delete these last uh, yesterday's you can see yesterday all the analysis we did so this is 25 percent down 15 uh, percent down 9% down and uh, 16 or 16% down. Okay, so roughly you're getting around 67% uh, uh, profit on spot. And if you had traded with 10x leverage, 670%. Okay, so that is how I uh, come up with this. Okay, so today's first coin will be Chili's. Yeah, so you can see that in the one hour time frame, Chili's is, uh, has already tapped. Okay, so now I think that today what is going to happen is Chili's is going to come and test this parallel channel middle over here. And if BTC decides to go up, Chili's will go and test this. Yeah, and then you can trade from the swing failure low. You can take a shot on Chili's when it is going to come and test the bottom of the channel. Okay, this is the only scenario I see. I don't think that Chili's is going to break and come here. So the first scenario over here looks quite uh, possible. Yeah. Now moving on to Taylor, this is the second coin that we have over here today. Yeah, so Taylor also you can see same setup again, but uh, <clears throat> you can see this week which is formed over here. So there is a high possibility that this might come down. Yeah, put in a lower low and then test this channel and put in a higher high to take this week. And then you can take a trade on the basis of this. Now if BTC remains bearish, then I think this will push somewhere till here yeah not more than this will push somewhere to this region this you can see 50 percent of the week would be taken here and then it will come down over here at least till this point okay this will be a good trade because from here to here also if you see it's a 38 percent uh, fall yeah so if you want to uh, go to lower time frames then you can see that uh, you see how the setup is uh, going to work. Let me just uh, delete all this for you and uh, you can take it from there. Yeah, so you can see that the full impulse wave up, which was going as a Fibonacci uh, coming in at this point. Now it is in the 0.5 range. So there is high possibility that it will come down and test this one. Okay, depends on the trader's intention. But this is my swing failure. Okay, so if it comes and test this swing failure, also you can enter a trade over here, and then I think it will go and take this pick. Yeah, either it will rebound from here or it will go to put in a higher high and then come down. Okay, this will be a sure shot trade for you. Yeah, so that is it for Teller. Now moving on to the next coin, which is Theta. You can see Theta has rejected quite strongly yesterday. So yeah, so the same scenario goes for Theta as well. 
now okay, this is the 15 minutes time frame you can see it's a straight line now so i think it will go up and come down test this parallel channel yeah or this support region over here it will test this and then try to go up okay i think that theta will probably put in a higher high because uh, you can see that uh, if it comes like this then the rsi would be wobbling around like this and then there will be a lot of bearish divergence coming in over here yeah so this is for theta i think this uh, setup will be enough yeah and you can see xrp is also in the same setup over here okay, you can see that xrp has uh, been forming lower lows. I think till we down, it will try to give a fake out below the parallel channel over here, and it will try to uh, go up. Yeah, like theta put in a higher high. Yeah, and then from the swing failure and the top of the parallel channel over here, you can take a shot. Okay, so the RSI will also be the same. You will get lower lows on lower highs on RSI and higher highs on price action. Okay, but XRP. Uh, will be a good trade because I see a lot of uh, traders have interest in XRP but on longer time frame you see that if it comes here and taps the top of the parallel channel then uh, this will be a very good trade for us we can expect XRP to come at least uh, from the top of parallel channel to at least somewhere over here okay so 17% drop down so this will be a very good trade yeah so uh, last but not the least, uh, Ethereum, which is my favorite coin to trade. As you can see that we are already in uh, Ethereum short from 1750. Yeah. So I have taken some profits now. You can see that we are almost down by 10%. I'll share some profit cards for uh, you guys. But I see Ethereum also doing the same like BTC. As you can see that there is no support of Ethereum around here because this is full of liquidity for the market maker to take so everything will be dependent on btc okay but i still think that ethereum will find support on this parallel channel because this channel has been behaving uh, quite good and then probably it will it is going to go and test the top levels of uh, 0 0.382 over here which is our golden pocket over here and then probably it is going to come down and proceed lower okay to somewhere uh, to the bottom of the parallel channel okay this this uh, lines up perfectly with everything so you can see the abc for ethereum will be something like this yeah and then this will be a very healthy correction for the market and then we'll take it from there we'll see how if it breaks here then it can come down if it finds support here then we are waiting for one more leg up and then probably Okay, so I think this these trade setups are enough, guys. I covered five uh, altcoins for you and uh, BTC analysis. I hope uh, you do your own research and uh, make some entries. Now, I can some days you know you cannot find some good coins to trade, but uh, uh, today I found some coins, so I gave you. But uh, you know, days are there that when trading is very difficult on higher time frames now if i make an analysis on five minutes time frame by the time i post it it is uh, gone already okay in my trading desk uh, it is very easy because i can give you immediate updates and people know how to trade lower time frames but uh, that is why i stick to 15 minutes time frame or higher because uh, i don't know when you are watching the video but uh, that is the logic behind it okay thank you guys uh, thank you for watching i hope you got some benefit out of the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and please drop a comment uh, if you take any trades and uh, if you want me to improve something and uh, if you know something better and i don't know please comment in the uh, comment in the section below and uh, let's uh, share info and build our knowledge together okay thank you guys for watching have a good day ahead bye bye